In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add mods to Minecraft with Optifine. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to cover the full process of downloading mods and using them in conjunction with Optifine. So as you can see, I'm using Forge. I don't have any other specific mods installed, but you will be able to add them according to your preferences. But I want to showcase that Forge right now is installed. And as you can see, it is working with Optifine at the bottom left corner of the screen. So from this point onwards, you can go and add any mods that you wish. And of course, even if you don't want to use Forge itself, you can still use other mods that don't require Forge. So there are three main steps that you have to take in order to do this. First, you have to install the appropriate version of Forge, then you download Optifine, and then you drop Optifine into the mods folder. Usually you would run the Optifine installer, but in this case, you don't run it. So to start, the main thing is that you should download the appropriate version of Forge. If you have never installed Forge, once you go over to their website and you choose the appropriate version and you download the installer, you can simply run this jar file. If needed, and you don't see this installer open, make sure that you have the latest version of Java. So go to java.com, download Java for desktops, and download the latest version. It is super simple to install. Now, click OK and install the latest version or the appropriate version of Forge that you want to use. So in this example, let's say we're installing 1.21.1 for Forge. So you have to download this exact version for Optifine. So go into Downloads, Show All Versions, and then 1.21.1. Of course, if you aren't going to be using Forge, then you can skip this step. So you click on download and once again, you will receive a jar file. But instead of opening this jar file, what you do now is you go to app data. So open a run window by typing Windows plus R or looking for run and then type percentage app data percentage. This will take you to the roaming folder where you can find .minecraft. So in this folder, go to .minecraft and inside you will have the mods folder. In here, drop the Optifine jar file, so don't open it up. And of course, you can go ahead and add other mods that rely on Forge. And once again, for one more time, if you aren't going to be using Forge, then you can skip that step and then you should run this file instead. But you should only do this if you aren't going to be using Forge. With this done, you are now able to open the Minecraft launcher. So I'm opening it on my second monitor. And once it loads, you will be able to see that the installation will be set up. So what you have to do now is choose the Forge installation. So make sure that you choose Forge and launch it. If you aren't going to be using Forge, as I've said multiple times, then just choose the Optifine installation instead. But for Forge, you just click play, click play, and you will log into the game with Forge installed. And you can double check if Optifine is installed when you go into the settings. So I'm opening it up on my second monitor. And for whatever reason, it isn't going to appear on the list of mods installed. However, it is still working. It just does it in the background. So that's all you have to do. In here, you will notice that there is no Optifine on mods, but if we head over into the options and video settings, you can clearly notice that Optifine is in action. I hope I was able to help you on how to add mods to Minecraft with Optifine. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.